I can't stand intros. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day wherever you might be. If you are a regular to this channel, you have not seen Mr. Duck in a little while. Have not fear. He will be back eventually. Right now, I am carrying the tops. Tom Brown, tracker number four. Um, I love this little neck knife. At least that's the way I carry it. Um, that's the 1095 and great little uh, neck knife sheath. Super rigid. I put on the, uh, the ferro rod with the magnesium sticks on there as well. A little compass and some adjustable knots for the neck knife. Anyway, let's talk about the uh, AD15. Um, if you're new to this channel, I don't do knife reviews. Uh, I'm just a knife collector, knife maker, and musician who likes to show what's in my collection and talk a little bit about them and uh, the things I like, things I don't like. And in this particular video, I'm going to talk about some of the cold steels I had to sell uh, in order to purchase the AD15 and the AD10 because I purchased them together. So I had to make a little bit of space and I had to create some funds. And uh, I'll tell you what I sold while I keep the camera in and uh, just in case you've never seen anything like this before, we can uh, admire it at the same time, I guess. Um, I, had to, I had to make a little bit of room. I had two code fours. I had a spear point and a, uh, a Tonto. Uh, and I had two American lawmen I had, uh, they're both the CTS XHP. One was black, one was brown. Uh, the, um, I wanna say Pocket Bushman, but it's not. I always got them uh, mixed up. It's the um, Ultimate Hunter. For whatever reason, I always have a mental blank on the Ultimate Hunter. That was a good knife. Um, I feel kind of bad that I don't have that particular one because that one was um, a really, really good knife was the ultimate hunter and i also sold my good trusty ak-47 uh, that was a green one with the uh, xhp that i heavily modded um just so sweet whoever got that one got uh, a really well broken in uh super smooth ak-47 so i had to move a few of my most beloved uh, cold steels just to make some room and I know what you're thinking well why didn't I s sell something else I, I the collection's pretty big and it's kind of diverse so I felt it was important to have the, um, the scorpion lock uh, along with that AD uh, AD 10 as well now this one here is with the uh, flat flat grind it's it's not a full flat and um, I do like it. When I first purchased it, when I did this, my finger was right a little bit far in. So when the blade came down, it kind of did a little bit of a guillotine. Yeah, I don't know if I'm showing it very well. Anyway, it was just user error and uh, that was my fault. And I, was, I wasn't really sure about if I was going to like this one, but this one does turn up in my fidget factor uh, video where I talk about, you know, the knives that we like to fidget with. And this one is definitely no exception. There's just so, um, so many different ways you can play with it. And it's very satisfying. It's got a certain ting to it. Um, one of the things I like about it is, is the, um, just the, the overall look. I think it looks cool. I honestly feel that the grip is extremely comfortable. Um, the one thing that is kind of throwing me off a little bit is the pocket clip in relation to this really janky G10. Now, I know what you're gonna say, especially if you've seen my channel for has seen some of my videos, I'll, I'll modify, I'll lift this up a little bit and kind of bend this up a little bit just to make it easier to in and out of the pants, but 
if you can look at that G10, it is really janky. And I don't want to hit it with sandpaper. I don't want to soften that because it looks really cool and I'm afraid I would ruin it. So I don't want to mess around with it. But uh, in and out of the pocket, I do have a little bit of an issue there. Other than that, I'm, I'm okay with everything in the pocket clip area. Um, let's take a look at the centering while we're at it too. I have done nothing to this knife as far as uh, my, uh, my mods or any of my little tweaks that I like to do. I've done nothing. I've stropped it. I have not even given it my own edge. This is the original uh, the original grind and it's pretty symmetrical so I'm really happy with that it came out pretty good let's see if we can zoom in on that so you can see that the right side is just a little shallower than the left and it kind of does show up it's really not that bad though it's actually pretty good that's one of my pet little peeves with uh, a lot of knives is that the uh, the edge grind is isn't not, not always uh, symmetrical. Other than that, very smooth. Uh, I'm using some kind of an oil or not an oil, sorry. Uh, on this particular one, I'm using this stuff. Um, I use so many different types of lubes on all the knives. Some some like that stuff and some don't. Uh, this particular knife, the AD15, really does like it. Uh, I do like that little ting. I don't know if we're going to catch that in the, or not. Let's listen to that. Try again. Yeah, it's almost like a little, a little bit of a ting. Super smooth, super fun, uh, functional. Let me know uh, if you think this knife should come and make coffee with me, uh, you've been to my channel, or maybe you haven't. Uh, I'll put some of the bushcraft related videos right in this little square at the end. Uh, let me know if you think this knife should come out with me. I, I think it should. I think it would probably be a good afternoon. Um, I was a little bit concerned about the lock, but I really don't think it's going to be a problem. I think the lock is is fine but um, I don't know if anybody's batoned any wood you know just tiny little logs not heavy use I wouldn't heavy use this thing but let me know what you think I do like this knife uh, I do see that they have it in black now but uh, overall I'm happy with the green um, let me know if there is one knife out of that group I was telling you about. I I would really like to get that AK-47 again uh, in S35VN perhaps. I think I don't think you can get it in the XHP anymore. And in black, black on black with the uh, S35VN. It is available. Uh, I could get it. Uh, what do you think? Do you think I should go back to that one? Um, that's about the only one of that group that I would get. I did like the Ultimate Hunter 2, but I don't know, there's something about the AK-47 that's just got that cool factor. Anyway, uh, that's the AD-15, and uh, let's take a close-up one last time. We'll go around this, and I'll see if I can show you really cool really just so cool well done like the pivot close up on the lock just in case you are wondering what it looks like very positive and uh oh let's make another observation here the one thing i did bring up is you can see how smooth this face is on the on the blade and you can see how it rides it's right now it's like glass all right let me know if you know anybody or maybe you have accidentally dropped this knife on the pavement and what would happen if this face was to meet unfortunately with concrete or gravel where this face was 
somehow marred. What do you think would happen to that beautiful, smooth action? Just a thought. Uh, I'll throw it out there. If most of the knives that we own are, this is protected by the uh, handle that comes out farther, right? So this is one of the few knives that I know of that has this situation. So let me know if that's happened to you or maybe someone you know. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a super fantastic day. Bye for now.